Hey guys, I'm Allie. In this video, we're covering everything you need to know before visiting Isla Holbosch because it's not quite a place that you can just show up. There's a little bit of planning involved. Isla Halbosch is a small sandy island on the northern tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. What makes this Mexican island so fun is that there's no cars here, or close to no cars. Just bicycles, golf carts, and a few ATVs. People here get around mostly by walking barefoot through the sand or riding a bike. If you're still trying to decide between Isla Mujeres and Isla Holbosch, you'll find that Holbosch is a little more authentic and a lot more laid back and nowhere near a mini Cancun at all. Definitely a hippie beach town vibe. It's actually very similar to Sayulita on the Pacific coast if you've been there. A lot of people ask if Isla Halbosch is worth visiting. And I mean, who doesn't love a soft white sandy beach, right? I was really surprised to find that the sand was a little bit different and it didn't stick to you. If you hate when sand gets all sticky on you, Halbosch is definitely a place that you wanna put on your list. And I mean, the turquoise, crystal clear, shallow water, what's not to love about that? If you've done any research, you've probably come across some mixed reviews about whether people like Holbosch or not. Some people find it a lot more busier than they were expecting. Some people find it a lot more chill. I think if you have explored the Riviera Maya side of Mexico and have already been to Tulum or you're looking for a Tulum alternative, you will definitely enjoy Holbosch Island. I would describe it as like Tulum's laid back, sleepier little sister, I guess. I would add that the beaches here aren't quite as manicured as you would find among the mega hotels and resorts along Cancun's coast. I think that just kind of adds to the carefree rustic appeal of this island. As far as how long you should visit Holbosch, since it's a little more off the beaten path and a two hour drive from the Cancun airport, there are certainly enough things to see and do for at least three or four days here. You could probably soak up the essence of Holbosch in two days if you had to, but I recommend spending at least three nights. There are people who do day trips from Cancun as well, so that is an option. To get to Holbosch, you will either take a bus or private transportation from the Cancun airport to the town of Chiquila. When you arrive in Chiquila, you will have to take a 20 minute ferry to get across to the island. Here's a travel tip coming at you. There are two ferries that you can take. One is the normal ferry and one they call the express ferry. The express is faster, but not by a whole lot. It's definitely nicer, but if the first ferry that's available is not the express one, I would just take that one and not worry about the express. And just so you know, if you sit up top on the blue ferry, not the express one, you might get a little bit wet, so plan accordingly. <laughs> Once you're on the island, you can take a golf cart taxi or a bicycle taxi, which is a little more fun. If you're up for an adventure and you wanna to get to Holbosch in the cheapest way possible, you should think about taking the Adeo bus. These are pretty nice coach buses. And there's buses that run every day, all day from Cancun to Holbosch. It costs us about $15 one way. As far as travel tips, here are some of the essential things you need to know for visiting Holbosch. Bring cash, bring all the cash you think you're going to need. I repeat, bring your pesos to Holbosch. There are only about two ATMs that are found on the entire island and they're not always reliable or if you do need one, there's probably going to be a long line. So if you can manage to bring as much cash as you think you'll need, you will definitely have a way better time. There's not many places that accept credit cards. If they do accept credit cards, sometimes the machines are down, sometimes there's power outages, the Wi-Fi, the internet doesn't work the best here. Definitely do not rely on credit cards. Cash is king and use it as much as you can. 
This is why I recommend booking your hotel online before you get there. And ideally, if you can pay for most of your hotel before you arrive via credit card or PayPal, that's going to reduce the amount of pesos that you need to have on hand. However, if you do have enough cash with you, you will save a lot of money by paying cash for the hotel instead of using a credit card. So bring way more than you think. Seaweed. Seaweed is the big question a lot of people have about this part of Mexico and it really depends on the year and the time of year. There's always a chance you could technically run into seaweed here in Holbosch. I wouldn't worry about it ruining your trip. It kind of comes and goes. They do a really good job of cleaning it up every day. Definitely something that you should expect, but don't let it ruin your holiday. It's really not that big of a deal. However, since Holbosch is on the northern tip of the peninsula, they usually don't get as much seaweed as you would find on the Cancun side. Only worry about bringing flat bottom sandals like flip flops, Birkenstocks, that's it. The reason why is because the roads here are made of sand. If it rains, the roads turn to this very slick clay like mud and large puddles can take days to dry up. The sidewalks are uneven and sometimes the sidewalks just randomly end. You're gonna be doing a lot of this, so just don't worry about wearing any type of fancy shoes. We also notice that a lot of people just take their shoes off and walk barefoot around. I don't know if I would do that, but you wouldn't be the only one if you walk barefoot around town. Mosquitoes can be known to be bad here in Holbosch, so if you are prone to getting bit, I would recommend bringing some insect repellent with you. When it rains, there is a lot of standing water around town. The bugs here can be a little more bothersome compared to other spots in Mexico. Don't let it ruin your vacation. It's not that big of a deal, but it does need to be mentioned. I really enjoyed shopping for souvenirs and small gifts here in Holbosch. Compared to other places in Mexico, I found that there was like a lot more authentic gifts that I could find here. For trendy decor, there is tons of macrame and dream catchers here. And another reason I found visiting Holbosch super pleasant was that there's no pushy beach vendors. It was pretty chill and low key here. None of them were too pushy. There were very few of them. So that was a pleasant surprise. Holbosch is also very dog friendly. Many of the locals have dogs they bring with them to town and let them roam around during the day while they're working the markets and stuff. And we also noticed a lot of tourists brought their dogs too. And not just chihuahuas, there were tons of big dogs. If you're looking for dog friendly places to visit in Mexico, Isla Holbosch is definitely a really good option for you. If you want to discover more places off the beaten path in Mexico, I think you're really going to love the Valladolid area. It was one of the most authentic Mexico vacations we ever took, so check out my next video on that. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so that you see more of my videos show up in your home feed. Hit that notification bell so that you know when my next video is coming out.